What's up, my chair bombs? On today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorites. Now, these are my March favorites and my February favorites. As you guys know, I didn't do a favorites video for February. So I decided to do it for March and February since it's the only things that I've been wearing. And these are some of the stuff that I've been enjoying all February long and March long. So if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, grab a drink, and let's get right into this video. I don't know about you, but I have my water right here because I know a lot of content creators follow me. So comment down below if you guys get caught in mouth the moment y'all click record. Like I could be chilling all day, but the moment I click record, my mouth is so dry. It doesn't matter how much water I drink, I'm thirsty. And I didn't notice that until I seen it was a trend. Comment down below because I'm struggling. And if you do have that issue, let me know what works. The first item is something that I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying it all last month and this month, and I've noticed a little difference. And now I see why people love this product a lot it works and i'm loving it i do have some pros and cons about it but for the most part it is a love the faded serum by topicals it is a brightening and clarifying serum now let me tell you guys something i love the texture of serums anything that's in a serum form i love it because when you apply it the skin takes it and it's smooth and it's just amazing i wear it during the day and the night time when i do wear it in the daytime i make sure that i have spf on and then at night, I make sure that I, you know, just put a good amount and then I put it right before I'm about to go to bed. Now, you guys do know that I work from home. So I have windows in the house, so I do put on my SPF. But if I'm going out and I'm going to be running errands, I'm not going to wear this because I'm going to be literally outside. But if I'm not going to be outside, I'm going to be around the house working, creating. I'm going to definitely put this on. And I've really been enjoying it. And I've noticed some of my dark spots have gone down a little bit or have gotten lighter. I'm gonna see if I can change my eating habits as well to see how that works, but that's a big process and that's gonna take some time. Now there's two things that I don't like about this. I don't like the tube. I never really like tubes like this. The next thing that I don't like about this is the scent. It smells really bad, but when you rub it in, and you put other products on, of course, like moisturizer, you're not gonna smell it all night long. Whereas other products I've used, it don't matter how many times you layer or other products you put on, you're gonna keep on smelling it. The moment I put this on and then I put on my moisturizer, the scent is gone. Um, if you guys know anything that works just like the Faded that does not have a scent, comment it down below because your girl don't like that scent at all. But because it works, I'm still sticking beside it, okay? So this is one that I've really been enjoying and you guys can see that I've been enjoying it for real because look at that. I'm almost halfway done. And honestly, a little goes a long way. Like, I don't have that much items for skincare because I've shared some of these items that I've been using, but this right here is one that I'm gonna always have in my collection. I love it, love it, love it. It is a staple outside of my Vaseline. I use this on my lips and it is amazing. The Laneige Lip Stipping Mask, $20 I think for this or 21, but a little goes a long way y'all. I've had it for almost a year now and look at how much I have left. Oh my gosh, come December of 2023, I'm gonna still have this tube and I use it every single day. Okay, so I really, really like this. Um, Laneige have amazing lip sleeping mask. Amazing. I want to get the vanilla next, but I said to myself, I'm not going to get it until this one is done. I hate, and when I tell you I hate, hate, hate chap lips, I hate when my lips are not moisturized. The moment it's not moisturized, I'm not comfortable. One time I went to church without makeup and my lip product that I was testing out that day was not it. And I literally ransacked my whole car looking for a moisturizer to put on my lip because I just felt so ashy. I was actually ashy and then my lips felt, I just hate leaking my lips so definitely get this. Now, one thing that I've really been enjoying that has gotten my skincare top tier, like my skin has been looking so good because I've been protecting my skin from the sun. Okay, so I love sunscreen and this sunscreen right here is a must have. It's the Shiseido sunscreen stick and the shade clear, but this is a clear stick. And look at that. Okay, so this one runs for $30, but you guys, it is the best $30 I've ever spent because you literally just swipe it, swipe it, swipe it, swipe it, swipe it. Works amazing under makeup. I have it on today and uh, it doesn't disrupt my makeup. I don't break out with this. Love it. It is a must have. I love it so much that Ulta is having their 21 day sale right now. By the time I, I upload this, you guys are not going to see it. But if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen it. 
big lotion one for the face. It's usually $50, but it's half off, so it's $25. Went in store, copped that real quick because it sold out online. You guys, this sunscreen is amazing. This one is water resistant and is 80 minutes, so it is a must have. And then I don't put it around my eyes, so I don't know if it burns my eyes or not, but oh yeah. Okay, you guys, so I recently tried this um, moisturizer and I've been loving it. Now, I do have a lot of moisturizers from PR and I get a lot of skincare PR. So I said to myself, I am not going to buy no more skincare or moisturizers because I get a lot of moisturizers. But you guys, when I seen Mena talk about Biosense and she was talking about their moisturizer, this moisturizer though is a game changer. It's the Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. You guys, the texture is beautiful, but it smells so good. It smells like gingerbread cookies to me i love it now biosense is slightly expensive but this right here y'all during the sephora sale that's coming this spring y'all should definitely get it because it is perfect and it helps with the skin barrier and you guys know that once you break out that barrier is gone you know specifically in that specific area is broken the skin is broken it's cracked whatever this have been working amazing and i like the texture so fluffy and velvety and smooth when you rub it in your skin is super soft love it if they make a body butter it's all right i'm not sure if they have one or not they probably do but i'm super new to the brand so that's the only thing that i have from them oh and i have that rose serum but i didn't try that one yet but the moisturizer top tier you guys already know this i've been talking about this if you watch my instagram if you watch my instagram stories or whatever my skincare you know that this is a staple in the collection because it helps with um the skin barrier and it is the snail mucin and look i am almost done this is the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence literally a hydrator love it people say that it works for dark spots but i'm not sure i could only tell you that it's perfect for hydrating my skin and i know that i am gonna be done with this by the time i do the next favorites video so definitely add this to cart if it's going on sale um during the ulta beauty 21 days definitely check that out i'm not sure but check it out because they usually do have random things on sale the next thing is another one that i got in pr and i've been dying to try this serum for the longest but i didn't like the price Tag. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys okay and every single time I try to buy it when it goes on sale I'm always too late it's always sold out but this one is amazing and I'm so happy I have it right now the Lancome Genifique serum it is the concentrate serum it has a lot a lot of um, amazing products and it this is basically like a daily serum for me if I'm washing my face and I want to put on a serum and moisturizer and sunscreen this is what I'm gonna do and it works amazing under makeup as well the texture is really nice I just don't like the actual I don't like how the cap is because you can't get more it like it's very limited but outside of that it's pretty cool this was sent to me by PR and I would definitely repurchase it again because I really like how it makes my skin fit For makeup I've only had one thing that I've been enjoying and it's a foundation and I'm actually wearing it today so let me know how y'all feel about my foundation today like what is it giving is it giving the same thing that it's always giving or is it giving different like is it glowy what do you think because this foundation is top tier and y'all need it it's the new makeup by Mario foundation so it's medium to full coverage it is a buildable coverage as well it has a luminosity in it so it's a glow so believe it or not I didn't put no highlighter on today but I can see under my skin there's like this subtle glow and I really really love this it is worth um, every single penny this is in the shade 230 what I liked about this the most is the shade range because the shade range is amazing and when I put this on my skin talk about the match was on point it is a nice one the packaging is cute or whatever I like yeah, I like it a lot. You need this in your collection. If you're looking for a new summer foundation, I think that Makeup by Mario is perfect because you get that glow that you would get from the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, Hollywood Filter or whatever. You also get the coverage that you would get from the SD. It is like the perfect blend of a lot of my favorite foundations, like the NARS Light Reflecting and then Imagine the Lancome Tint Edo Foundation. I love that. This is really good. It is a staple specifically in my collection. In the hair category, I only use one thing in my hair and it is the Rose and Glycerin rose water it's from heritage I just spray this on and I just go I literally just spray it on and go and then sometimes when it comes to the oil you guys already know the Mayel oil just put in my hair and that is it and my hair is always hydrated because of this now I need to get another one because right now it's currently water in this bottle 
and yeah but this is perfect for the hair if you have locks it is perfect for hydration i don't use this on my skin but people say that it is a good toner for the skin as well but i haven't used it and i'm kind of okay with that i like it on my hair now though. for the body you guys i've been enjoying this oil and the reason why i'm ashy right now is because I want to demonstrate how good and how amazing this oil is. I just washed my hands and this oil is so good and I like the scent and the girl's been talking about it and I love it. This is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing um, Body Mist Oil. I can't explain it, but the scent is beautiful. I guess it's the oat oil, Johaba oil. I, I love the scent. I love it, love it. So all I do specifically with my nails and my cuticles, I just spray it, one spray on my hand. And that is it, you guys. And it just rubs in so perfectly and it's not that greasy like it do give you that shot oh my god the scent oh the scent is so pretty this is a staple to have in your collection i thought i like the um oil from palmer's the cocoa butter oil but mm -mm, i like this one more and i think i seen jackie Ina using this in one of her little get ready with me's if jackie's using it I'm using it. Now this next item is one that I had to repurchase again because I loved it. It's super affordable, super hydrating, and the scent is amazing. The EOS 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion in the scent Vanilla Cashmere. Literally take one pump of that. This is how I usually do it. I'll spray the oil, and then I'll take one pump of the lotion, and then I'll put it on, and the scent from the oil and this lotion is amazing. I like the Nivea because it has that oil, but it's not greasy, but this one is not greasy. It's almost like a matte, but hydrating on my skin. It's matte and hydrating and then it just smells so good like you literally can just take this if you're running errands Put it on your skin and just go my husband just loves it And this morning I woke up from you know this morning I woke up and he always gives me a hug and I wore this lotion the night before because I finally re-upped on it literally just got it from Target the night before and and he was like, your skin is so soft, oh my God. And I was just like, thank you. He said, you're using something different. What are you using? I said, I just put the oil on in this lotion. He said, I remember this lotion. Keep buying it, cause I love it. And he feels the same way about the Nivea one as well. So definitely get the EOS 24 hour moisture. Another thing that I use for the body, this is pretty new. Um, you guys know that I love the Dove deodorant, but I wanted to try a different deodorant. Um, this is the Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. And it claims to be 72 hours. You guys, this is amazing. Bought this deodorant so I can try it on different parts of my body. Like the inner thighs. I wanted to try it under the boobs because you guys know that if you have big titties, you know. And then I also wanted to try it in the back area because that is the main reason why they brung this one out so you can have one for that. Um, it's for the pits, private parts, and beyond. And the reason why I got this one because I really wanted to try to see if it worked. Kept seeing the commercials, I said, hey, I'm gonna get it. Smooth and solid and it's unscented. And I love that for me. Doesn't smell like nothing. The only thing is when I go and wipe, I feel that it's like extra smooth. So literally, if you're using this, the first day I used it, I put a little too much. So it was like, I literally glide. Like, I mean, like I, I'm like, whoa. What's going on here so <laughs> literally one swipe on each side is perfect and when i tell you i was running errands this day and i was literally out from 7 a.m to like 6 p.m you guys just running errands going back and forth getting my nails done it was a lot of maintenance and getting my passport done it was a lot and i kid you not guys when i got home around 8 p.m when i finished cooking and i finished cleaning tightening up the place and was ready to wind down and take my shower and just chill on the couch with my husband I purposely took off my pants and I'm sure you guys do that so I don't want to hear nobody in the comments be like ew you nasty and I sniffed it when I tell you there was not one scent smooth no scent and I was just like this was the best $14 I've ever spent okay now this should not replace your showers okay you should shower this is really good all right you guys so this item right here i've been enjoying it so much you guys i just don't like how long it takes for me to rub it in but the glow the moisture the hydration i feel afterwards is amazing and it's a topical slather serum so i only use this at night because it has retinol lactic acid ura and squalene in it the only reason why i use it at night is because the retinol retinol don't work well with the sun so I used it at night and I just lather my whole body with it. Some days I would just put this on and no lotion. And then other days I'll put this on and then follow up with my oils and stuff like that, depending on how I feel and how the day was. But y'all, on days that I wear this without the lotion, you don't really need it. It is super hydrating and super moisturizing, but at the same time, it helps with the strawberry legs, it helps with discoloration, and it helps with even skin. And it has the retinol in it, and it's encapsulated retinol, so it works over time, and it's a slower version of retinol, which is good, especially if you're new to retinol. Like, this is my first body product, and I'm almost done with it. 
and I think I'm gonna go buy another one. Now, next time I buy another one, on the silver part, I'ma just poke a hole so I can control how much is coming out versus the hole that is already there because it does come out a lot. All right, you guys, this is the last body moisturizer that I've been enjoying, and it's the one that I've been loving the most. I just can't get enough of it. This is the Josie Moraine Whip Argan Oil, the scent vanilla bean, and this is literally my every single day moisturizer. When I don't want to wear anything else or I don't want to wear a scent, and I'm going to be around the house doing errands, and I just want something that smells good, this is it. I love this one. I almost forgot we have one more thing before we get into the fragrances. These have been changing my skincare routine, skincare life for the longest. If you have trouble, this sounds like an infomercial, but if you have trouble with water running down your arms when you're doing your skincare, girl, I got you. I got you. I got the fix. The skincare sleeves, you guys. These skincare sleeves have been coming in clutch, okay? When I tell you, I did not understand why people had these on when they were doing their skincare until my friend was like, girl, because the water that's running down. I love these ones because they do not like, um, you know, rip up or anything. And they are perfect. Literally, you will be surprised how much water that runs down your arm when you take these out and squeeze them. I love them. And I just put them in the washer. Um, I've added bleach to them and they still stay the same color. So I love them. I'll link them down below. It's super affordable. For $9, you get four of them. I love them. Now we can get into the fragrances. These are some of the fragrances that I've been enjoying this past month, not last month, but this past month. And let's just get into it because it's starting to get hot here in Florida. So I have a specific scent for everything. So we're gonna get into it. One fragrance that I've been enjoying on my husband that I love that I only got for like $60 at Nordstrom during their holiday sale, y'all. I love it on my husband, but I've been wearing it on myself as well. Super sexy. It's a classic, and I don't know why it took me this long to get it for him, but I got it. Spice Bomb by Victor and Roth. Now, they did have the Extreme. They had the green other ones and all the other ones on there, but I wanted to get the original one. This in a travel spray was only for $60. What? This is so sexy. It's the vanilla in this for me on my husband's skin. It's so long lasting. I've really been enjoying it with him, and every single time that he tells me to um, pick out his fragrance, I'm like, Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb. This is probably the only fragrance that I like from Victor and Roth. Outside of their private blend that they took away, this is really nice. I love this. With the hot weather, I like things that are very fresh and citrusy and also musky and floral right now and super soft, but that's not going to be too heavy. And during the days and sometimes at nighttime, specifically when it's really, really hot, I've been pulling for this one and it is amazing. Anti EDP, perfect floral musky fragrance. It is now at Sephora, so you can go ahead and sniff that, okay? Um, Sephora currently have it now and it's out for to smell. So if you haven't smelled this, go ahead and smell it. It is the perfect fragrance for any occasion. It is unisex, but I love to wear this to bed and I love to wear it when I'm wearing, running errands. Not all the time, but most of the time I love to wear it to bed. You need to get your nose on it. Now, now, Jo Malone fragrances don't really last for me, but this Jo Malone fragrance right here is one that lasts and lasts and lasts. And it's in the cologne concentration, so that tells you something. Really love this fragrance. It's super long lasting and it's super fresh and very different from anything that I have in my collection. And I feel like everybody should have this in your collection. Poppy and Barley. Of course it has a note of barley, but it has violet and it has other florals in this. That gives it like that powdery, almost like Play-Doh type of um, scent. Every single time I wear this, I get compliments. Love this and I could see myself going through this bottle this spring and summer because I just gravitate towards it. This next fragrance is one that I love to layer the Scarlet Poppy with, but I like this when I'm, I wanna smell different and I want to give off those vibes. And I also like to wear this when it's rainy outside because it works perfectly as well. It is my only scent from Byredo and it is La Fleur. This is like a leathery, fruity rose fragrance. It's more rosy and leathery, and the rose is more like a drenched rose, like a water lily, almost like water lily, but it's not. It's super playful at the same time. It is super edgy and and really long lasting in my opinion. But the other day I decided to wear it with Poppy and Barley, my new combo. Like I'm never wearing them alone again. So good. I love this combo. Specifically for now, during this hot weather, amazing. I'm all about date night and I'm all about date night inside. I love like getting a whole bunch of snacks with my husband and or we do take out specifically Chinese food and we just watch movies all day all night we haven't been going out lately because our schedules are so crazy but during date nights in this is what I've been wearing I love it Kamra by Latafa cinnamon praline goodness it's so sexy it's so long lasting they say it's a dupe of angel shares I got it just so I can compare because you guys was going down my throat asking me for it and it's not it's not a dupe but it's sexy 
it's alluring and it's more wearable. I love angel shares, don't get me wrong, but for the average nose, if they put angel shares and this together, the average person will get this one. It's my go-to date night fragrance right now. It works amazing during the spring and the summertime. You guys know that it is hot outside and I don't find it glowing at all. This scent right here is my go-to scent for any occasion, y'all. And I don't know what it is, but I really love it. I've had performances back to back to back to back and this is the fragrance that I've been wearing in every single performance. Montal's Arabian Tonka. So sexy, so alluring, so beastly. Every single time I wear this, I always get compliments. The bandmates are always telling me like, oh my God, girl, you smell good. Every single performance, I wear this and y'all, the compliments are crazy, but it's super long lasting and super sexy. I really enjoyed it the past month. What are you enjoying this month? Whether it's skincare, body care, perfume, makeup, what have you been enjoying? These are some stuff that I've been enjoying. So comment down below what you guys been enjoying. I'm super curious. Let's let the conversation continue in the comments below. I'll link every single thing for you guys to shop. Don't forget to leave me a testimony for the Sephora squad. That was it for the video, guys. I love you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram or TikTok and Pinterest. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, cherry bombs.